Hello, Pisces viewers. I'm going to look into your situation, what your person might be thinking, feeling, wanting. We'll see what the, we'll see what the cards want to say. See if there's like an ex or somebody coming back around. Um, last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that there was some sort of heartbreak that really traumatized you. And that's kind of been blocking you from new love. I mean, you might have moved on from the person, but there might still some be, there, there might be some uh, trauma there just from the betrayal. Maybe that you thought that was like your forever person and they just left you and it was really unexpected. Or maybe they cheated on you. Just something happened where you, you thought you had your forever person and it turns out it was, it was more of like a, a karmic lesson for you. And I think that betrayal has just hurt you so deeply that even if you've consciously moved on from the person, there's still cut and clear work to be done there. That person's energy is still kind of attached to you. You're attached to them to some degree. There's some sort of um, like trauma there, I feel, from that from that betrayal, from that, that heartbreak. So, and that, you know, what I got from in the last video, I got that that was sort of... Uh, blocking you from from real love it's like you're praying for new loves to come in but that that betrayal that pain is still there it doesn't mean that you have to be like completely 100 percent, you know uh you know level it's like everybody's damaged everyone has gone through you know some heartbreaks like that it's just saying that there's something maybe like with your belief system or like your energetic connection with this person or the trauma that like you maybe have some subconscious way of sabotaging love. So it's like your guides are wanting to bring new love in, but they can't, it's kind of like they just can't because, um, you know, because of uh, that trauma. It's like if they brought you someone in right now, you might sabotage it. You might push them away. You might not trust it. So it makes things kind of complicated. But let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what's going on with you. Beauty, mystery, enchantment, dreams, visions, telepathy. Pulling them in, taking it slow, getting to know each other. Hesitation and mixed feelings. Risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. End of a pattern, cycle, breakthrough. And then we have reconciliation, pride and stubbornness hidden truth and this hidden truth is related to betrayal jealousy and conflict hmm. interesting get the camera angled properly okay can i get a few clarifier cards that's a double reversed Okay, so coming out of this energy, you're coming out of that energy that you were in. Got the Knight of Wands. Got the Strength card reversed. Hmm. Got the Four of Wands reversed. Or do I have the deck upside down? I don't know. Uh, okay, I think that you are telepathically picking up on your true love. I feel two different energies here. Just looking at this reading here, I feel two separate energies. So I feel like, I feel like with someone that was like abusive or toxic, you were sort of trying to hang in there and like you were hoping they would come back. You were waiting for it. Like you were trying to be strong. You were trying to have this hope. I mean, these cards are reversed now. So it's like, you're done trying to be strong. You're done trying to wait for this person. You're done hoping for the best with this person. You're done with this this fairy tale. You're you're accepting that it's not happening that, you know, you're you're trying. You're really trying to to move past this heartbreak as hard as, as hard as it is, as hard as that is. You're you're working through this trauma, I think. You know, the 4 of wands would be like celebration, like peace, like happy times. And with these two cards reversed, it's almost like like for a while you were trying to be strong and you were trying to hold on and hold out for that hope that you guys could to could reconcile, could um, you know, get get things moving, but it's like you're not holding out for that hope anymore, you know. And you're getting out of this devil energy, this addiction. I think you're starting to see this person's true colors, where before you were kind of in denial about it, and I think you're realizing now that this person is narcissistic. 
So that that's a good thing. That's a good thing that you're you're coming to those conclusions. You're not putting this person on a pedestal anymore. I feel like I feel like there's another energy though that's come in that I didn't pick up before. And I think that's the energy of your true love. I think it's somebody who's who know already knows that they want you, already sure about you. And I think they're either you're coming through in their dreams or or you know, vice versa. Maybe you're having visions, maybe you feel their energy, telepathy something this might not necessarily be someone that you've met you could just kind of have this sense that it's like you have some energy around you that's nurturing you and supporting you and loving you it's like you can feel his or her energy like you're connecting on like in the 5d on a soul level it's like you two are connecting like you just kind of feel this person like you know that they're around you and, and again, this might not be someone that you've met or it could be like a coworker or somebody that sees you around. Like maybe they maybe you run into each other at the at the grocery store or out in public somewhere, but like you don't talk a whole lot because there's this kind of sense with this person that's like you guys either don't talk at all, like you don't even know each other physically or um, you do see each other, but it's like it's kind of casual, like you don't really know each other like that, but it's like it's like a soulmate connection, like maybe you just feel good about this person. And if you're not talking, it's like you're, I mean, if you don't, if you haven't actually met this person, it's kind of like I think you have some soul level awareness of them, like you feel that loving energy around you, like you feel like someone or something is supporting you. Um, it's kind of like you guys are connecting in the higher realms, like in the 5D, or you're connecting and planning on how to meet physically and when to do it. Because like I was saying in the last video, I think that a lot of you have an attraction to toxic people, or you have patterns based on how, how deeply this ex traumatized you. And it's made it so that it's like you're praying for love, like you're wanting love to come in, but and your guides want to bring you that love. But the thing is that you might friend zone that person right now because they wouldn't be your usual type. Like it wouldn't be familiar to you based on your subconscious patterns, based on that trauma. It's like some part of you is pushing love away. And I think that you're starting to work on that now. Like for those of you that saw my last video, it makes sense that I'm getting this energy now because it's like I think you're starting to become aware of those patterns now more, especially with me like telling you about it. And I think that you're working on them and I think that you're starting to become, you're bringing all this stuff, the, this subconscious up, up to become conscious and really working on it and being mindful of your, you know, your behavior, your subconscious patterns, your, um, you know, the kind of people that you keep being attracted to and attracting, uh, just being, setting firmer boundaries, like just really, you know, making this stuff conscious and, and working on it. Because, you know, this person is not your usual type, so that's the problem. It's like your guides want to bring this person in and have you together, but it's almost like you might think it's too good to be true and you might run away and sabotage it. You might think that this person is just, like, they're, they're being fake, they're trying to get something out of you. Like, why would they ever really love you just as you are? Um, there might even be like a little bit of a lack of physical attraction just because like when you're when you have like a ne like negative subconscious patterns that you've repeated especially from childhood you're attracted to people that usually you're you know you're attracted to people that like resonate with what you went through in childhood like if you were like abandoned and neglected then it's like you repeat that pattern in relationships where you keep going for people that abandon you and neglect you. It's like that's what feels like home to you. That's what you're, that's what's wired into your brain. That's what you're used to. That's what resonates with you. And so it's like body language. That's what the physical attraction comes from is that pattern. And this is more of like a soul-based connection where it's kind of like you might be friends first and then you're going to realize like you're going to have that soul recognition where it, it's like you just kind of – like I've had that before, you know, it's, it's like a different energy. It's like, you're not attracted to them physically completely right at first, but then you have that friendship and you start talking to them and then they feel familiar to you on a soul level instead of on a mental level, if that makes sense. It's like you have those like past life memories come up or just like soul recognition where it's like, you just have that feeling you've known them your entire life. Like you feel it. Cause that's, then that's what that is, is that you've known them in your past lives. It's a soulmate or a twin flame. And so that's that that's that energy where it's like you feel like you've known them forever because you have known them in, in your past lives. And so it's like you guys just feel comfortable. Like you can just, you know, tell each other anything. Like you just 
have that deep soul level connection and and a lot of times the physical attraction comes from that it's like you you know you you guys talk and you get to know each other and they're not your usual type but it's a soul connection so that soul connection like overrides everything else if you allow it to at a certain point I feel you know but like most relationships I think are like mental based like subconscious patterns in and just body language and instant attraction so this is something different this is like this is soul level this is like maybe you just see them as a friend at first but then as you get to know them you're like this is this is actually what feels like home to me not the not the toxic childhood patterns that's not my home anymore no this person that I've known for lifetimes and lifetimes that's my real home that's where I really belong you know so keep doing what you're doing with with making this conscious being honest with yourself setting strong boundaries breaking these patterns you know just set firm unshakable boundaries really work on releasing that energy and because your guides are trying to bring love into you they want to bring this this new person into you but again they're kind of worried still that you might question it and doubt it and sabotage it and push it away or not be attracted to them or play games with them and this person might not be willing to do that like they're worried that you would bring those bring like what you've been through into this relationship in a negative way you know what I mean so they want to make sure that when this comes in that you guys are both going to do it right so you're connecting with this person now in the 5d like you guys are already together in the higher realms but your souls are just planning out how and when to actually meet each other um, or, or how to, or again, this could be someone, like I said, I don't feel like this is someone that you know well. I feel like this is someone that you might be around every once in a while, but like you guys don't have any deep, serious talks. It's just kind of someone that you bump into here and there that maybe you have like a little bit of a good feeling about, like they've got some good energy, but you don't really know them like that. You know, or for some of you, like I said, you might not be, you might not know them at all. You might not have even met them, but you just feel that energy. Like you feel some sense of like support and love that's come in for you. And this is that soulmate that wants to come in. Um, yeah, beauty, mystery, enchantment. And then we have dreams and telepathy. It's like, it's slow. It's, it's, you know, you're pulling, they're pulling you in. I feel two energies here though. I feel two energies here. So I feel like the other person has been hesitating too long and you're about to break this pattern, this cycle you've been in with these toxic or abusive people. You're about to have your freedom. And it's like that's when the ex gonna, is going to come back around wanting this reconciliation. But it's going to be the same pride and stubbornness as before. And this might not be the same ex I channeled because remember I, I, said, I was saying you have someone that you thought was like your true love that you... That you um, just thought was like your person like forever person and they just they really messed you up I'm not so sure that this reconciliation is that person I think it might be another toxic ex that um you know is a lot of pride and stubbornness there and maybe they betrayed you too maybe you have a pattern of being cheated on or betrayed or abandoned and that hidden truth might be coming out with this person they might confess to it or that you guys might talk about it but you know you're ending this pattern what what comes of that yeah, just more pain. If, yeah, more pain, more ma manipulation, more deception, more codependency, more addiction, more toxic negative energy if you go back to this. You know, you are working on ending this pattern, this cycle. You are working on breaking through. Do not, if this person comes back around during Mercury Retrograde trying to reel you back in, trying to lie to you, trying to, you know, oh baby, I messed up, I love you, I should never have left, I'll stay this time, let's work through it. You know better, you know better now. You know that they're abusive. You can't lie to yourself. You need to be honest with yourself about the red flags. You need to stop romanticizing it and sugarcoating it. And it's hard because I know that you're lonely. I know you're lonely and it's really hard when you have someone there physically when you've been alone for so long. Someone that's like, I want to see you. I want to hang out. It's it's hard to ignore that because it's like you just want that attention. But it's going to be the same. And you'll know. Like this person would have like been someone that yelled at you or hit you or like talked. Like they were just like negative in some way towards you. You know what I mean? Or like they talked down to you or they, they gaslit you or cheated like you would know that they're toxic you know what I mean like your your soul and your body your like your intuition would be screaming at you through your body like you would feel tense like your body would feel tight and tense and and just like anxious around them like you wouldn't feel like you could relax around them you would your energy would feel off your body would feel off your mind would feel off like your that's your intuition screaming at you that this person is not resonating with your soul you know what I mean 
So this time around, you got to be honest with yourself about the red flags with this person and with any new person in the future. As hard as the loneliness is, it's better to be alone than to be with someone who's toxic and, and abusing you and draining you, you know, because then you lose yourself too. And then that's when you're truly alone is when you lost yourself to someone like this. This person's not worth it. This person's not worth it. Um, so, so yeah, this person might want to come crawling back during Mercury retrograde, possibly for some of you, but you know, rise above the loneliness as hard as it is. Cause you know, very well that it's going to be the same crap as before the same heartbreak, the same codependency, the same issues, same addictions, same manipulation, gaslighting, deception, same betrayal and conflict, drama, jealousy, cheating, whatever. It's going to be the same as before. They're not going to, you're not going to, they're not going to say that, of course. They're going to come in like, oh, I, li I love you. I miss you. I messed up. Can we talk? They're going to do what they need to pull you back in, but you need to be stronger than that and cut this out and continue focusing on ending this pattern and cycle and having that breakthrough. And then, you know, once you've ended that, I feel like your guides are going to bring this new love in, this person that actually is going to be your equal. You know, you guys are going to be taking it slower. It's not going to be this codependent codependent relationship where you rush in and you guys don't have hobbies on the side. No, this is going to be like taking it slow and you have your hobbies and your career and they have their hobbies and their career. It's not so codependent. It's like it's it's healthy. It's mutual love. It's 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 much more positive than this than this energy right here. But again, your guides cannot bring it in yet because you still need to cut this out and you need to continue breaking these patterns so that you'll actually you know, this person's not your usual type. So you guys want to make sure that you're actually going to be attracted and resonate with this new person and that you're not going to question it and sabotage it and think it's too good to be true. You know what I mean? Um, but you guys, like I said, you are connecting in the 5D and the higher realms. You guys are already together. You're already could be having dreams or just feeling their energy, telepathic communication. Like you just, you sense them. Like I think that you know to some extent that there, there's, there's this love around you. And this is that person. This is that soulmate or that twin flame. And um, yeah, like I said, you got to, you got to rise above this toxic ex and those toxic patterns. You got to keep making them conscious, keep setting boundaries, keep 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 working through this you know do whatever you need to do to, to continue ending these patterns and having your breakthrough and freedom so that real true love can come in for you you know this could even be a test that your guides are putting you through i hate to say it but it might be a test to see if you'll go back to the old ways of doing and being and thinking you know to see if you're truly committed to this new path and this new life so 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 pass that test choose i would choose this if i were you so thank you for watching i hope it resonates and if you want a paid private reading um i have specials going on and my email is below i can look more into this person for you more into the ex more into this whole situation whatever you want to know um and any donation is appreciated even just a dollar it really adds up quickly and yeah please subscribe thank you